That's a very nice start, Baden first ball. Sean doesn't want to let the brakes go off here. You know, I, I don't think any team here would want to chase 75. No, I just don't think so. I think you want to make it as comfortable as you can. You've got to keep it tight. And the one thing Sean does lack a little bit at times is he lets it go down the leg side a little bit too often. That's two and a wide and a wide, six off the over. Mark Ongers talking to Sean. Yeah, just uh, yeah. trying to control the nerves. He's a very good manager, Mark. So he'll be just saying, just take it easy. <laughs> just a bit of guidance here I see there from the manager, Angus. <laughs> Does not bowl anywhere near as the quality of a Sean Shaver, but he is offering some very practical advice. Oh, the umpire's called it from good. Third ball now. He's called it good. Well, I think this is a good decision here. I mean, he's just, he's done well here, Mark. He's just yes. kept him calm. He's just kept him calm. Cricket didn't have the ball in his hands. Yes. But it, it, you missed, you missed opportunity. What I buy about Colvin, he went straight to the umpire and said, I didn't have it. Yep. That's a great sportsman. Great ambassador of the South Africa indoor cricket, he is. And a big boy. It's a good start here from these two. Seven off the over. That's the line where Sean's good. Yes. 100 percent Very experienced cricketer. I just seen the background behind Sean on the TV. Another great cricketer for South Africa. Tony Arnold. Just sitting there at the back. Oh, oh, oh. oh. And that's a great over for both teams. Only seven off it for South Africa, but seven off it for Australia. Scores now moved up to 55. Just a bit of stretching going on down there. South African boys just having a bit of a stretch. It looks like a Jack Painter. Or has he died when he went to field that last ball? He's a tough lad. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's tough. He's a big boy. He had an injury scare coming into to the World Cup just before one of the practices, having training, landed on the ball, twisted his ankle. It was a big scare for the side. Very big part. Zog plays in this in this team. Shane Williams is a new bowler. Nice oh, shot there by Marty Bennett. Definitely nice shot. This is important here with Shane Williams. He's got to keep the pressure on for the South Africans now. He's got to get his line right. Oh! Great cricket shot. Seven. Dead. We were just Jamie saying. Jamie Evans has just followed through and hit a magnificent seven. This is a great over. They're just now 
Now they've gone from a, a two, a seven, a three, 12 off the other, and they've shot to 67 runs. Wow, has the game changed? It has. We're just talking about lines. First World Cup, do you think just a bit of pressure? He didn't, I mean, he just didn't get his length right in the first over either. This is really too risky. Catch. That's it. Just, just what Shane Williams needed. Yeah. To throw this over there. Just to get his confidence back. That ball takes a score to 67. Two overs to go here. I mean, you know, Ron Jenkins, the Australian coach, we go, look, we can still fight away to 80 85. Or and that would have to be a fantastic cover. Just on the screen there, Mark Mestenberg, the manager of the 35s of South Africa. They're yeah, here nice and early, ready for their final. They are against the Australian team. The crowd is definitely starting to fill inside this stadium here at Four Ways. Evans is betting well. Oh. Again, Colin Kruger. And that's the end of the over. Some of the players there just sitting there getting ready for the next lot of games. Shane Williams, two for 20 of his two overs. Score sitting on 69. 16 balls left. That's it. Let's make a prediction, Craig. Come well, on. What do you well, think? Before, you, before we make a prediction, let's talk about these two batsmen. Yep. They've had a wonderful tournament. Yep. 187 for Bennett, 135 for Evans. They've obviously caught, uh, been in tough situations throughout the weekend and batted well. So, Ron Langton and I think Colin Kruger to bowl. Yep. Uh, I think they could take their score to at least 35 to bring the Aussies back into this game. That's what they're going to need. So your, your prediction right now is the moment it will be 85. Is that what you think? That's where I think they'll be looking. Are we going to have a dozen Castle Lager, one of the major sponsors of the Masters? One of my uh, favourite. Cheers to the Masters through Castle. That's it. Charles Gloss. And then that's the test of time. And I said, no, I've had one or two. In your day, have you? That's it. Uh, great, great to have Castle part of the support. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that that uh, is a fantastic shot. I think the Australians know that they need to get a move on that. I don't think 90 is going to be enough. No, you can't change, mate. You said 85, you stick at it. I'll predict they get 93. It's nice to come from the rear, eh? Charles, it's you go first. That's it. That's it. Grant Langdon that... here just needs to basically get this ball in back into middle and leg. That's what needs to be back into middle and leg. That's, That's it. it. Yes. That's what we're looking for. Australians chasing, and we've got to keep your arms. Yeah, I'm not sure that's a smart decision by Evans. No. Yeah, not at all. I mean, reality is he's got him good. He's got him back up to 78. We've got 10 balls to go. We are looking at 90, 95. Now 85 is probably reality now. It's back.
Boys throwing their bodies, putting their bodies on the line. Batsmen, fielders. Oh, it's been a great week. This is the uh, 13th game for these teams, and they've played in various opposition. I tell you, the, un the unsung hero here might be Mr. Murray Bennett, the boy from ACT, just doing his job. That's the end of the yard. Right, Colin Krugham, last over of the South African innings. Fielding innings, that is. Uh, looking at the castle line and Terry Lloyd too, having a lovely drink there with your father, Craig. Yes, yes. yes. lovely. Nice to be supporting the sponsors. I saw that will be one of many for Terry throughout this afternoon and this evening. Okay, the last over, here we go. Last over, the Over 40s World Cup indoor cricket final brought to you here from Four Ways Arena in Johannesburg. Colin Kruger to bowl for South Africa. And Young Evans. What a great start to the over. 84. Maybe my score's looking good. Kruger's going to get a wicket now. 36 partnership here. The unsung hero. The unsung hero, Murray Bennett. I keep calling him Murray, it's actually Mart. Uh, one of the best cricketers I know, his name's Murray. But sorry, Marty, you're doing fantastically. I'm sure you're on ACT, he's extremely proud of you at the moment. Scores moved on to 86. And a wide, 88. Just when you don't need it in the 16th over, re -ball. And that's right, so for all our viewers, if you bowl a wide in the 4th, 8th, 12th or 16th, the batsman's discretion is to re bowl it. Very, very impressed with these two. Very impressed. They've come out fighting for the Australian team. Currently, they have a partnership of 42. They oh. get 45. Marty Bennett. And my target of 94 at the moment. He's looking good. It's 93 right now, Craig. Four balls remaining, two wickets, brings me back into it. No good, no good value in that game. This is an outstanding last partnership. This is what World Cup Indoor Cricket's about. Guys fighting for their country. Playing for the green and gold. Both teams are playing for the green and gold. Just different soul uniforms. And again. Wow. What a turnaround in a partnership. 49 sitting on 97. Two balls left. This is what they needed from this betting pit. Absolutely outstanding. I take my hat off to him. Yep. Uh, walking in after South Africa dominated that second and third partnership. That makes it two all now. And again. 101. A 53 run last partnership. And they've had a couple of outs. What who a fantastic would, effort. Who would have predicted that? I did not. Yeah. Well. I think the South Africans will be happy with that fielding display. 101 against this quality batting team. They remain calm now. Oh, 
<laughs> We've seen you through the week. Yeah. Yeah. That is what. Let it. No, I'm not. That's why he keeps going to the third umpire. We've seen him for all week. He has not made a decision. So he keeps going to the third umpire. Hey. Wow. Welcome back here to Four Ways South Africa, where we're watching the final of the men's over 40 gold final. Ron Langton and Willie Casey have come in to open in the vacuum for South Africa. Australians in the huddle leaving it. Came back well at the end. 101 runs they got on the board. A fantastic closing partnership of 50. With Bennett and Evans. <laughs> Willie Kez to take the first ball for South Africa, and he will be facing Bennett, who's just coming from batting. Nice and warm, fresh, ready to go. Umpire calls play, here we go. And right on the money, first ball. Each side get a brand new ball when they're coming to field. So here we go, Bennett. Another great ball. Willie Kez. Well, umpires have called for the umpire to have a TV review. Let's see what this is about. What's going on here? And it looks like the Aussies have said it's not out. Sorry? Strike three, third ball. As I welcome our fellow commentator, Mark Sini, back into the box. Thanks to great <laughs> balls. Strike three, third ball. The Aussies thought the ball hit the wicket there, but it's given not out. Are we still waiting for that decision to come? I think so. And it's third and ball it's now. third ball. So, not out, but third ball. Third ball of the innings. Third ball.
Billy Case opening the batting here with Grant Layden. And that's, uh, would, you have would you have picked that? No need to go upstairs for that one. No. Hey, no need at all. Well, all of a sudden, that's a start in Australian League. They don't need 107, South Africa. You know, that's the way to look at it. 101 they got, they're minus five. They're now chasing 17. You know, it's a bit of hard work now. Now they've got to start again. I'm very interested in this to open. I mean, are they yes, the normal um, openers here for this team? Willie well, well, seems to have batted well the whole week. Gordon Langton's been in this position for, for, for the whole week as well, so he's had different partners. But Bennett is bowling an awesome over. Well, the adrenaline's on the high, mate. Absolutely. He's just batted the house down he has with Jamie Evans. And a clever move, take the first over. Closing himself now. Big misunderstanding. We spoke early in the game, didn't we, about the South African ability to continue to bowl on middle and lead. And they lost their way in that last pair. That's it. And they're chasing 101. Oh, the last 111 pair's now. Well, they try to get tougher and tougher and tougher. What a great over, Murray Bennett. Seam up bowling. Bit of a flicker. Oh. Lee Holt. One of the great fielders for Australia. And the indecision with the batting and the calling now has led, yes. led to that not being a run. Correct. Their job here is now got to get back to zero. They have to get it back to zero. They've got to finish with 10, 15. It's really got to be their aim. Young. So it's just been called front foot no ball. So in the game of indoor cricket, different from outdoor. You cannot touch the line in indoor. With outdoor you can, but indoor you cannot touch the line at all. It looks like it was off the leg. What's your call? What would you like to call this son? Oh, I'm going to call leg, not out. I'm going to call leg, not out. Yeah, and that would be a fantastic over completed by Bennett. You see some of our gold medalists walking past us. Mr. Walton drinking the finest beer in the country. Still waiting for the umpire's decision, yeah? Very difficult, very difficult call here. Yeah. You can see here on I've the side. I've got another one over Sini, yes, no doubt. Yes, you certainly have. The only one that count will be the end result. Absolutely. These boys are going to dig deep now. Got to get their score back. And as you say, bringing this, this next number is important for them. Second over to be bowled here now by Rue Clayton. Thought he batted very, very well batting first today. We did with Lee Holt. He's been given a job now of the next up. Right arm over. Should call this one, Mark. It's 
happened there. We've just got the umpire that is just giving a penalty. He is. He's giving a penalty. That is out. Checking the score here. It seems to be. Yes, there has been a penalty. Penalty has been given against the Australian Pat Boyle, vice captain. decisions have happened during the week. So what's just for our viewers, so you understand the Australian total here, they've been informed that there's been a penalty of minus five against Pat Boyle for asking the umpire to indicate third umpire. Now if the umpire's taken runs off him from that, i will be very disappointed. It is a final, and I wouldn't like to see a final be decided by a penalty. But I'm with a game. We're recording now. Played it. Nice shot, Willie Case here, just dabbing it. Right, just dabbing it up, two more scored. And here go, now they're fighting back. Right, now they're fighting back. Nice shot. Yes. That's it. That's what you call ball into your field. Yeah, that middle on league stump, you know, it's, the game's evolved so much now and it's hard to do it all the time, as we understand. The South Africans did it outstandingly in the second and third pair and took a little bit in the first pair. Um, but ball very short. Now to Jamie Evans and Marty Bennett. Rude Clayton here, just tall, upright, just generally out easy in the air. Another good ball. This pair now really under pressure to bring it back for their team. Yeah. And it doesn't look like Boyle's going to ask umpire to review that one. Yeah, we would hate to think that officialism would uh, create uh, issues. South African team sitting here on minus seven and uh, coming near the end of the second over. It's good keeping. And big hands. Look at the size of the hands of that guy. He's a big boy. Crowd's gone very quiet, haven't they, Craig? I think they, have they uh been think a bit shocked by what yeah. they've seen at the moment. Well the last six overs, four with the back, two with the ball. Uh, Lee Holt once again.
Coming to ball the third over. That's been on strike here. Grant Langdon. Langdon. Nice. Very good. A uh, little bit of indecision by the batsman, but uh, even back to Lee Holt, 13 wickets in the tournament so far. He's been bowling well. I noticed, Craig, you've um, stuck in one of the sponsor's products, the pump water. And there's silence from the co-commentator. Minus four, chasing 100, minus four. Oh, Bobo. Bobo. Fielding there by the substitute fielder. Substitute fielder for Australia due to Craig Wildman being off with his calf injury. Devaney. Devaney, I should say. to zero at the end of this over. How many balls left? Three balls left. They can get into a positive now. Start working for me. But awesome fielding here from those Oh, yeah. yeah move, Rudman. Well done, the captain. Done very, very well. as you are seeing some great front half fielding here. Touch, 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 touch all the time. But it's all caused by the good bowling, the, yes. the lines that the bowlers are doing. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're hitting they're the bringing, lines all the time. They're bringing the front players into play. And over. Right. So back to positive. Well, that one's definitely one for the Australians. We've, uh, we've just noticed Sean Shaper trying to come into the court at the end of the third over. Obviously, uh, we play four overs for a batting pair. Sean must be new to the game. Really not concentrating. As you call, mate, they're now positive, aren't they? They're now positive to the scenario now for the South Africans. Is the boost on? They need to be, look, if they could be 11, you know, that still leaves three pairs, 30 each. Yes. Now they've just got to boost it up. Well, New bowler, Jamie Evans, the, 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 basically the hero. Him and Marty Bennett, the hero of this Australian comeback. Builders in the front section of the court into play. Willie and Grant here just need to keep pushing on. Tick away, tick away, tick away. Shot. A great ah, field. Once again. The energy. Troy Pitt. Fantastic. The energy shown by the Australians while fielding. Doing it for one another. Oh. Oh. Just 
Yes, but uh, would have been a cert now with a decent bit of fielding there. Absolutely, but five balls to go. They've got into a positive situation. Yeah, let's see if they can build on it. Good shot. Had a great dive. What a fantastic dive there by Grant Langton. Putting pressure on, yeah. on the back net there. Yeah, well done. I think this is out. The directive is normally out in this game. so much work by their front half at the moment because they have got the lines right. Again. Well out. Now, so Sean Shaper and Colin Kruger are the next two batsmen to South Africa. Both very, very experienced campaigns. The last two wickets really hurt, I felt. Absolutely. I they hurt. They were in the positives, and unfortunately, two run outs doesn't help your cause here. Yep. Putting pressure on the team, but the two guys that have come in now, Colin Kruger and Sean Shaper, have made a pile of runs this tournament. I think they've got one of the highest. Back in partnerships in the tournament. Yeah. They gotta do it for their team. So as mentioned earlier, scoreboard has changed 96. The Australians with the penalty. South Africans at minus seven their first partnership. To start the second pair, Sean Shaper will face against Colin Kruger. And the ball will be Pat Vaughan. Boyle has taken 24 wickets in the tournament so far. Good strike rate. Well, that's the start they need. A positive start, first ball being two. To be honest here, Craig, the team's success rests on these two boys here. It, it does. You know, um, that, they, they need a... They've got to bring it back for the South African team now. They're, they've got to. Yeah, a lot of pressure well, they, on this they, They've got a match at 50 skin that was yeah. posted by Evans. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What fielding. Brilliant fielding. 
He's gone the third umpire, has he? He's gone to the third umpire. Here it comes. Direct. Once again, a direct hit. As stated earlier, obviously in our finals in the World Cup, the World Indoor Cricket Federation World Cup finals, we use that are televised, we use the third umpire as an assistant for the umpire. That ball again. He's going to go and have a look. I think he might have got there on that one. He looked positive. But he's out. Just shows you. It's a great over here by Pat Ball, isn't it? Forcing the boys to hit to the fielders. Now forcing them to do that. There's not many bowls in this game at this level. So no. you're fielding. The bowling has to be to your field, and that's where you're going to get the wickets. Nice oh, touch there by Lee Holt. Once again, right over here by Pat Moore. You know, big, strong lad. I don't know if I keep calling him a lad. He's a lot bigger than me, but uh, lovely bloke. Current vice captain of his team he is from Queensland. Hitting the track too. He's hitting that track. Oh, please, he filled it. Move, Rudman. So you want for me, Captain. That's it. The captain and vice captain combinations here. Basically ensuring that the pressure remains huge on the South African team. Minus five in his partnership. Uh, Colin Kugish forcing it over. Yeah. And he's the type of player that can do that. Yeah. Let's see. What is that back for? Seven. He hasn't gone for the review. Five. Oh, oh, he's in. Some of the lovely kids here in their South African colours supporting their team. That looks like the Sean Shaper. Yeah. Right, Boyle changing direction. I just see the Australian captain running, you know, running around saying, look, come on, we just need one more. Keep the heat on these boys. Great over. So the current minus four, Sean Shaper. Colin Kruger is on eight. Great start. Captain now for the Australian team. Move right at room. Holding the left arm orthodox. A bit like a Chinaman. I'd say that if he lands him, he might cause some uh, issues here. from the Australian team, but definitely not out. Stay low. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Oh, that's well watched. Yeah, well 
Reynolds. Class bowling, class betting. Absolutely. No, I don't mind that. We speak fantastic. Let's go, brother. Relax. Score now is at zero. So they've got him back to zero. They have. Still chasing 96. See that often? No, you definitely don't. You definitely don't. What a great, well fired at delivery. Pressure's now starting to mount here on uh, on Sean um, and, and Colin to the extent that you know they are the hope of South Africa. I hate to say it, but they are the hope. We now got a scenario now that these two need to just knock it around and try to get 20, 25 to still keep the guys in the game. Got to keep the guys in the game. So as a batsman now, Mark, you've got to stay positive. You've got to play the Correct. ball. Yeah. You need to, yeah. You now need to let the ball come to you. You need to play your shots. You need to have a couple of quiet overs, whether it's 10, 10 and 10. You need that. You, you, you've got to have composure here. You know, if the task gets too big, what ends up happening is you don't play your game. You end up playing the opposition team's game. And the problem that's creating here for, for the South African boys is that they're chasing and chasing and chasing. That's it. They need to basically, now these two here need to go. Two more twos, and then say, right, we've got two to go. Now they're trying to force the ball. Better. That's it, yeah. Um, but that is a great pressure the Australian guys have put on them. They put great pressure on them. Oh, not picking that one. Another good over here. Third ball carries over to the next over. And this is what the Australians are all about, discipline. Yes. Uh, you look at their bowling lines now, it's discipline, discipline. They put the pressure on the South Africans and they're going to just keep it there now. Well, I think the, I think the scenario happened is, is, to be very honest here, is the fact that the Australians got a big fright after that 12 overs. It took an exceptional innings, and I say this, probably one of the best innings I've seen from Jamie Evans and Marty Bennett, you know, to, to win the game. And I think the moment they started hitting the ball hard, the South African changed their shape, changed their line. So therefore then they just allowed them to get so far ahead. And they did. I mean, a, 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 a 53 run partnership in a final is he's he's big. He's big. It's big. Troy Pitt now to bowl for the Australian team. Bowls to Colin Kruger. Exceptional fielding Yabba Bennett. Exceptional fielding. Left hand flick. Exceptional game. Oh, fielding exceptionally well, yeah. My player, for sure. My player at the moment, just outstanding. A few smiles on the Australian faces here. Young yeah. boys, we just keep the heat on here. Great body bowling. Can't do much with that.
Ozzy's looking pumped. Well, I think they're actually quite calm. I think they're just going, well, we'll just bowl. If he hits it, we stop. That's basically where it is. The boy from ACT, eh? Canberra. Hey. Marty Bennett, what a game. He'll remember this. Troy Pitt to continue. Colin Kruger on strike. With an appeal there for a court behind. And Bob very clearly said, couldn't hear it. Down and up two. That won't worry the Australians too so yeah, much. Right. I'll just say, get you on two. That, that's fine. That works for us. an outstanding performance here. They really are. <laughs> and that's it, that over. Two. Score is two after the seventh over. earlier about the, the South African bowlers when they got the boys under a bit of pressure. Where does the Australian captain go now? Oh, I think he'll, he'll bowl himself. I think, he, I think he'll bowl himself. That's what he'll do. He just finishes. It's the last over. They're on two. Now, they've scored nine, you know, but overall the team's two. So, you know, I, I see that he'll bowl himself now. Take responsibility as a captain. The and he's got that ball going. And you see there, don't waste your energy, just bowl it, bang, duck, do the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Happy, happy to allow the South African boys to hit cross That's rather it. than length. More than happy to do that. No, he, he won't want the South African batsman going to the back net now. And that's the only way they can win now. Yeah. You know, sure. sorry, that's not right. I mean, the next pair came out and got 50, and then the other pair's got to get 50. Yeah. Or 240s. They'll be disappointed here. Colin Col and Sean will be extremely disappointed. Is giving it. Yeah. Beat him in the flight. Yeah. And bowled his wrong and went the other way. I think the Australian plan now will be to keep the foot on their throat. They will. They're going to stop as they possibly can. Sorry, it hasn't quite worked. Might be chasing. We need two lots of 40s. 
But the next batsman coming in, huge pressure on him now. Oh, yes. Good shot. Scores moved to seven. Chasing 96. Oh, he's got him again. And then the partners here. Partners here with 14. Taking the team total with seven. Sean Shaper, minus three. Colin Kruger, 17. The next batting pair, Shane Williams and who's with him? Bruce Forbes. A mountain to climb for these two. Yes, well, basically, they need 90 runs with two pairs. Yeah. So they need to get 45, and the next pair after them needs to get 45. Key part is here is they just got to build in blocks. That's it. Get eight or ten. Get eight or ten. You never know what happens. Bowler, the man of the moment, of Marty Bennett. Like his first over, spot on first ball. Just off the toes, Bruce Forbes in. Just tucked it away. Got Shane up the other end and said, just run, son, just run. to know when you've been in trouble that you just keep chipping away. But they need to be knocking up some twos. They, they need to be doing that. Shot, please. That's, that's a really good shot. That's the toughest shot that they're going to be playing. They're going to be looking after their partners. Good bowling. Get you to 